this 40,000 and paralyze you for life. That's why it's important that you have what's called underinsured coverage with your own policy. And underinsured coverage means that you carry your own insurance in case some drunk that has very little uh, coverage uh, doesn't have enough to pay you for the adequate compensation for what you've lost. You know, if you lost both your arms and legs, you couldn't get around anymore, and you had 500000 to a $1 million of under-insurance coverage, uh, then you could collect that from your own insurance company. Sometimes your own insurance company doesn't believe that you deserve that, though. So I have to go after the policy of your own insurance company to say that John Harper deserves to have uh, underinsured coverage that he bought for and paid for under his policy just because he got hit by an underinsured driver. It's really important that you do check your policy to see if you have underinsured coverage. A lot of companies don't even cover it. State Farm in California stopped covering it, but they reinstituted it in Michigan. I think Auto Owners has underinsured coverage, but most of the carriers do not carry it anymore because it's too much of a hassle for them and nobody thinks to ask for it. But your likelihood of being hit by a drunk or an idiot is about 90% higher than being hit by a pediatrician or a surgeon on his way to um, a picnic <laughs> or a UPS driver or something like that. A lot of brain injuries in the state and all over the country that are caused by people that don't have any insurance and they, people end up with brain injuries. It's, it's pretty pathetic. You know, the politics would like you to think that there's too many lawsuits or too many uh, claims, um, but the point in fact is there's probably less than 8% of all the litigation involving uh, civil lawsuits for money. You know, but they would like to think the government and the politicians would like you to think that, boy, there's one lawsuit after another, after another, after another, we got to stop the lawsuits. You ask jurors, you know, raise your hand if you think there's too many lawsuits. Just about every single one of them will raise their hand. None of them will have any direct knowledge of any of those lawsuits, quote unquote, that we're talking about. But there's a very, very big insurance industry lobby that have put millions and millions and millions of dollars into um, advertising. Tort reform in Michigan, they tried to, they are right now trying to have a bill passed with regard to medical uh, professionals. They already have a bill that if you're a doctor or a certain type of uh, professional, MD, that before um, uh, you, uh, if they did something wrong, even before you can sue them, you have to have an affidavit of merit from another MD that has the same exact credentials, and I mean same exact credentials, to say, yes, that's a meritorious case, before you can file a complaint. That's the only type of occupation of thousands of occupations that you have to have that. And why is that? If you have an electrician that gets drunk and miswires a house and somebody gets themselves electrocuted and fries their brain, you don't have to get a special affidavit from another electrician before you can file a case. You know, what is wrong? Money runs the politics in the state and in the country. And the insurance companies have a lot of that.